Hey, what's up everybody? You're watching All The Way Up Crypto. I'm your host. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Appreciate the likes, the shares. Appreciate all that love. Anyway, so what's going on today? So, a couple different things I'm going to cover. Uh, first off, Ethereum's Istanbul hard fork went off. For the most part, without a hitch, it was fairly successful, but please proceed with caution with any smart contracts that you may be interacting with. Um, there were uh, several issues as far as the gas fees not being sufficient. Um, so that little bug will need to be ironed out, I'm sure. Uh, but that's to be expected with certain things uh, because Ethereum got so big so quick with the ICOs and some smart contracts that were written um, that you're bound to have some bugs pop up like it. But I don't think it's anything too major. Uh, I think it'll be fixed rather quickly. Monero. They had their hard fork um, to add in their uh, is it X random or random I forget the name of their uh, algorithm, their hashing algorithm uh, but it actually increased the hash rate by a lot, which is kind of cool because it helps further decentralize Monero to keeping true to a cryptocurrency being permissionless and decentralized and and all that fun stuff. So uh, good job to Monero doing what they're doing. They're trying to make Monero as far away from allowing ASICs to mine on it uh, to allow anybody to just pick up their computer and mine on it. So I think it's pretty cool. I think other cryptos should take note of that. <clears throat> um, we had a significant crash yesterday in some coins. I mean... Anywhere from like, I don't know, 12, 15 to like 60, 70, 85%. Matic was a big one that caught everyone's attention. Um, Tezos, Raven, and VeChain were all big, massive drops yesterday in like the span of like an hour, maybe two. It was unbelievable. Like, I was keeping my eye on Raven and I looked, I'm like, seriously? What just happened? Um, kind of reminds me of the uh, 2017 days when things would go up and then drop. You'd be like, oh, what's going on? What the hell? My gosh, the market's dropping. It's going crazy. What's going on? <coughs> I don't know. I haven't heard any or saw any reasons as to why things dropped. Could uh, there have been some wells behind this stuff pumping it and dumping it? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, I mean, but Raven and VeChain and Matic and Tezos were all up fairly well so far this year. Um, Raven was up, and then it dropped, and then it went back up again here a little bit. I thought it was going to actually maybe go a little bit higher and then start a decline. Uh, I just didn't expect it to drop, like, you know, almost 100 satoshis, 25%, like, whoop, just like that. So, hey, that's part of crypto can't take the, the drops and uh, drop it like it's hot like that quick stuff you don't deserve the gains that could be coming um, so whatever on another note uh, I do speak about cryptocurrencies with my students um, and they're all excited about Bravo coin uh, and <laughs> they get excited about the price going up a penny or two pennies or something but I try to tell them it's it's insignificant right now because it's not on a lot of exchanges and I'm trying to encourage them to speak to businesses to encourage their users to write reviews on BravoCoin and encourage the businesses themselves to adopt BravoCoin. I think BravoCoin is a novel idea. I really think it has a lot of potential to be a very widely used and adopted review uh, application. Because it's on the blockchain. You write a review, it's there. It's kind of stuck for all of eternity. Well, as long as that blockchain's around and people use it. But it's essentially, as long as it's running, it's cool. I was trying to figure out about the witness nodes. And apparently anybody can be a witness node. Um, and 
they get 10% of the block reward. The other rewards get split up amongst the users. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I encourage you guys to dive into Bravo Coin and hey, go ahead and sign up with my referral code below. You'll get 10 Bravo, I'll get 10. Uh, so it's kind of cool, definitely worth looking into. I need to put another link below. Hopefully, I remember to do. I don't even know if I need to put a link. Uh, but Keybase.io, another great way to earn some free crypto. Uh, they are airdropping. Uh, the last time I looked, it was close to like forty dollars a month worth of Stellar tokens. Forty dollars a month. That's like a new phone payment. And if you hold on to it, maybe it ends up being four hundred dollars that they airdropped. I don't know. They they have a deal with the Stellar Foundation people. And I think they're airdropping like a hundred million or something. I don't know what it is. Too much to try to stay on top of. So, with that being said, I think that's about all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Oh, here's something. An interesting take. There were two big Ponzi schemes. Plus Token and... Uh, forget the other one. They were big Ponzi schemes. And these Ponzi schemes now are dumping... Uh, Bitcoin that they acquired during this Ponzi scheme onto the markets and people are believing that's why the price is going down. Could it be affecting it? Mm, yeah, maybe. I mean, if I'm a Ponzi person though, I would have been dumping it off over the counter and getting more from it. Uh, that's what I probably would have done. But anyway, uh, I hope you're all doing well and until we meet again, stay crypto my friends. Peace.